Hey, this is Matt. Welcome back to the video, guys, where I decided to introduce to you one very interesting uh, potential anti hair loss treatment utilizing silencing uh, mRNA. How this works, uh, you will find out in this video. I'm going to be explaining this to you and breaking down the whole treatment from Cernogen. The treatment is called Cosme RNA, utilizing uh, agent AR68 and uh, also the semi RNA technology, which is called self assembled micell inhibitory. RNA. So if you want to find out more about this treatment, when it's going to be potentially commercialized, how it should be applied, what type of treatment that is, make sure you stay tuned, like this video if you are enjoying these regular hair loss and hair transplant updates on this channel. And as always, before we start, this video has been brought to you by GoFiber, which are hair building fibers you can use to mask any thinning or patchy areas on your scalp to make your hair look thicker and better. So make sure you check out the link in the video description below where you can visit GoFiber, get a free sample of your choice and try them out. See if you like them. Guys, welcome back to the channel. Good to see you, everybody. If you are new and you are interested in finding out how to treat your hair loss, how to manage it, how how to catch it early on so you avoid becoming the bald guy for life, how to do something about your hair loss and even get your hair back to the next level with a hair restoration in case you have tried many treatments and they didn't work. And make sure you check out my channel, subscribe, like this video and also check out my website where you can find more information about that as well as getting on a one-on-one -on -one call with me. All possible on the links in the description below. And now let's come to the mechanism of action of the potential treatment Cosme RNA by Cernogen and Bioneer. First of all, androgenetic alopecia, which this treatment is uh, trying to solve or treat, um, is based on pre-existing or genetically inherited sensitivity of your hair follicles to the DHT, to androgens mainly DHT, and that DHT miniaturizing, miniaturizing that follicle faster or more aggressively than somebody else who has a mild androgenetic alopecia or somebody who doesn't even have androgenetic alopecia. So it's set in your genes. We know that gene expression refers to the conversion of genetic information from genes via messenger RNA, mRNA, to proteins. Now we also know that mRNA or messenger RNA can tell a, any type of cell in your body to do many different things. Talking about hair follicle, it can tell it to grow, develop new hair, to shrink, to miniaturize, to produce more dermal papilla stem cells or to produce certain proteins. And this brings us to the mechanism of action of Cosme RNA. Now, what the two companies, Cernogen and Bioneer, are working on, they are pretty much developing this Cosme RNA treatment where they utilize so-called small interfering RNA or S iRNA, which is used to suppress the expression of the gene regulating the androgen receptor of the hair follicle, thereby limiting the number of androgen receptors within hair follicle that DHT or testosterone can interact with. Until now, we have already known mRNA-based treatment for hair loss like exosomes, which are also containing mRNA. However, the problem was the delivery. It needed to be delivered via injection. And this is something that probably will not be able to be applied to everybody because many people don't like injections. It's better to develop it in a solution, like a topical product, which could be applied by everybody. And this is what uh, self-assembled micelle inhibitory RNA is pretty much solving. Such mRNA interference-based therapeutic could be pretty much encapsulated into a nanoparticle uh, with protective PEG code and these nanoparticles can incorporate these uh, small interfering RNA and are the ideal size for selective localization in either vascularized tumors or targeted tissues like hair follicles. So first of all, what they did, they had to find like ideal type of a SAMI RNA particle. 
they observed 14 SAMI RNA candidates. They had to be at least 50% effective in terms of silencing the androgen receptor on the hair follicle. They actually used quantitative PCR assays to evaluate this androgen receptor knockdown efficacy. And the result of that experiment was that they found the AR68 um, agent was the more potent uh, small interfering RNA sequence for androgen receptor silencing. So they decided to pluck the hair treated with that AR68 and they found out that the AR68 was efficiently delivered not only to the outer root sheet but also to the dermal papilla of the hair bulb and that confirmed that androgen receptor silencing in the hair follicle again by the quantitative PCR analysis. AR68 treated plucked hair showed a substantial reduction in androgen receptor protein expression as you can see here and we also know that the androgen receptor protein is highly expressed in the dermal papilla and transactivation of androgen receptor by binding to DHT in the dermal papilla cells induces apoptosis which means programmed cell death that promotes androgenetic alopecia progression. Now as far as the study number one they only used 0.5 milligram of AR68 per one milliliter of the topical solution and unfortunately the results after 24 weeks did not really differ from placebo. So we can conclude that this was a very soft concentration and even despite applying it three times per week it did not uh, yield any improvements compared to the uh, placebo group. However, this clinical study number two, which was also a 24-week study, they observed the placebo and treatment group by the baseline week 8, week 16, and week 24, and they found out improvements in target area hair count, which was one square centimeter on the hairline and also on the crown based on the candidate and it improved from 182 uh, hairs per square centimeter on average to 189.9 a 4.4 percent improvement and although this may not seem like a lot to many of you guys however this treatment AR68 has been utilized only once a week in the topical solution uh, the concentration of the AR R68 in the second study, however, was 10 times higher than in the study number one. That's why the efficacy is there. Besides the improvements in target area hair count, we can also notice improvements in hair density as they described it. And here you can see that the treatment group is showing a positive trend towards better hair density after 16 and 24 weeks, while the placebo group is showing a negative trend of decreasing hair density or hair thickness over time. Unfortunately, they did not specify what these numbers exactly represent, uh, but thinking about it rationally, it definitely is not millimeter or micrometer as one would think, but in my opinion, they do represent percentage increase or decrease over time. For example, 0.0, .0 is 0% at the baseline. And if you take a look at the treatment group after 24 weeks, it says 0.25, which would mean 25% uh, improvement. And if we take a look at a placebo and we take a look at 24 weeks, we see minus 0 0.071, which means minus 7.1% decrease. That makes the most sense to me. But again, it was only utilized once a week, which I think it's still pretty okay because if I'm using something only once a week and it gives me 4% target area hair count improvement, Additionally, next to finasteride, next to minoxidil, because it's different mechanism of action, I will take it. And I think they still can improve, they still can maybe increase the concentration or even increase the frequency. And the 4% can also maybe easily become 6 to 8%, which will be already close to the finasteride efficacy. And again, no side effects have been found uh, with this treatment so far. 
far. And based on the subjects uh, who needed to withdraw from the second study, it was not as a result of some severe side effects. It was more a result of uh, some of the patient uh, unable to uh, being followed up again, or they did some change to their hair like a perm or something else, which kind of messed up with that target area, which was marked previously. So they were unable to properly follow up. To give you more details about this, uh, solution utilizing SAMI RNA AR68 as active ingredient. It was also formulated as hair tonic aqueous solution with ethanol 15%, niacinamide 1%, betaine 1%, biotin 0.02%. Each application of the treatment has been done after patients shampooed their scalp and the scalp was dry and then the treatment has been applied and massaged for five minutes. And the cool thing also is that the formulation remained still stable for six months, which I think is pretty good. As far as commercialization, I think it will be likely available first in Korea as they already have the certification by Korean FDA in progress. In Europe, they are clinically testing this uh, potential treatment by Dermatest, which is a German company. It's also in progress. Uh, maybe if I find more info on that, I will also update you. But so far, I haven't found it on any German website. And uh, they, the whole company, they expect it to be a game changer because it only needs to be applied once a week. It can be applied on the scalp. Everybody can do it. It's non, not an injectable treatment and it uh, potentially can resolve the side effect of Propecia. Now, by comparing studies on efficacy of finasteride versus Cosme RNA, AR68 in terms of improvement of target area hair count, we get actually a slightly better efficacy of AR68 compared to finasteride. If you take a look at this study, which has been done on finasteride and improvements in target area hair count, the baseline was 200 hairs per square centimeter. And after 48 weeks, which is almost a year, it went to 207, which would be like 3.7% improvement in target area hair count and I made a video on it how many hairs finasteride can grow and you can watch it uh, up here. Now if we take a look back at AR68 we'll notice that the baseline target area hair count was 182 which is also not that far away from 200 which was the base in finasteride study and we see that it improved from 182 hairs per square centimeter on 189.9 hairs which would make it the 4.4 percent which on paper is more than what finasteride was able to grow in 48 weeks and here we already have seen 4.4 percent improvement with AR68 in 24 weeks which means better target area hair count improvement in shorter amount of time. But also if you take a look at the 16 week mark by AR68, we will notice that the target area hair count improvement has already been there by 16th week mark, which suggests that the Cosme RNA AR68 will probably peak at around a 16 or 24 week mark, while finasteride is known for peaking later than six months. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. So make sure you like it if you did. And if you have any comments, if you have any questions on things I haven't mentioned about this potential treatment, make sure you comment below. And if I know the answer, I will uh, comment back and reply. All right. Uh, take care, everybody. See you soon in another video.